أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم All praises are due to Allah, the Lord of the world. I seek His peace and benevolence upon the noblest of mankind, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, his families, his companions, and those that are on his footsteps to the day of accountability. I beseech Allah subhanahu wa taala to count us among those He has favored in this life and the life to come. On that note. I say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to all viewers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy and peace be upon each and every one of us. It is another opportunity uh, to share the knowledge of Allah and the apostle of Allah, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, with ourselves today on your favorite program. Uh, reminder, this is Ramadan. Uh, today we are basically talking about um, how to become a practicing Muslim. Uh, it is an interesting thing for us to know that Ramadan has practically given us opportunity to perfect our Islam. Uh, being a Muslim basically means to be someone that submits his entire life in its entirety to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator of the heavens and the earth. And um, being a Muslim, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly describes that as one of the major goal or the, the, the major goal that he wish for humanity. Woman aslam wa jahu illa Allahi wa wa muhsin faqad istamsaka bil urwati al-wuthqa suratul luqman. Allah SWT clearly said that man aslam wa jaha whoever submit himself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala faqad istamsaka bil urwati al-wuthqa such person has get grip hold of the uh, the strong stronghold has taken a grip of the stronghold which never um, gets broken and basically being a Muslim um, is really the joy of coming to life and in that order how do we now attain being a practicing Muslim being a practicing Muslim is a very genuine thing that every Muslim ought to um, attain being a practicing Muslim simply means uh, abiding by what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has instructed us to do. And um, that gives us the opportunity to gain the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In one hadith, the Prophet, peace be upon him, clearly made us understand how to attain the, the communion towards Allah, how to attain closeness to Allah. Because when you become a practicing Muslim, it really translates to being a beloved before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet says, That Allah says, A servant, my servant, will not get close to me except with those things that I, Allah, has made mandatory compulsory on him. And when you now look at what are the mandatory things Allah made upon us? As a Muslim, it means number one, the faith. To be a practicing Muslim, you must, I mean, totally submit to Allah in your faith. Allah instructed Prophet Muhammad that the first thing a Muslim learn is, that you learn, you know, you imbibe in your life that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's, that's the starting point to actualize your being a practicing Muslim. Secondly, when that is clear, then we uphold the book, the message of Allah, that is the Quran. You relate with the Quran because it is the guidance, it is the light that you need to lead your life in this life. Thirdly, you need the, the need to be in companionship of the rightly guided people, the righteous men and women, the, the faithful ones, men and women. You've been in their group. Because why? When you're in the group of the righteous person, obviously it assists you in maintaining your faith. Because faith in Islam increases and decreases. It increases when you are obedient to Allah. And one of the things that assists you in the trade, so in the part of um, uh, obedience, is being in the companionship of the righteous one, which Allah SWT 
uh, clearly talks about in Surah al Kaf. So that is another angle that will assist us in gaining the being a practicing uh, Muslim. Outside that, some of the things that is also important for us in gaining practicing Muslim is to practice all those things that Allah SWT has taught us. What are the righteous deeds that Islam calls to? Um, joining uh, the kinsmen, ties of kinship, um, being good to people, respecting your parents, showing honor to them, loving your wife, loving your kids. These are the practices that a believer really uh, show to show that he is a believer. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, when he was talking about um, a, a, a believer and he was asking his companions they, they came to the, to the Prophet with a news that there is a particular person in the, in, the, in the neighborhood that first he observes a lot and he has faith in Allah but to the people in the society, in the community, she was not um, in good times with them. Then the prophet instructed, I mean, told them, informed inform them that she is an inmate of hellfire. So that shows that our faith must be that pushes us towards righteousness. And they, in, on the other hand, they informed the prophet about a particular woman that was um, little or I mean, low in a level of observing salat and the likes, but she was kind in the neighborhood. And the prophet gave them the glad tidings that she is an inmate of paradise. So being a believer, a practicing Muslim, must be, I mean, extended to people. It must start from ourselves and be extended to people. By that order, we are practicing what we are learning from the book of Allah and the sunnah of the prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put his baraka in what we have listened to today and increase us in knowledge and faith. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.